Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Here are some of the topics that we will talk about on Live Hot Topics today. Let's get into it. This is a big win for Cat Williams. There was a $1.7 million lawsuit dropped against him. Um, this lawsuit started in 2016. And Judge Christine Snyder threw out a $1.7 million judgment filed against the comedian from his former assistant. So Triplet Hill said that, well, claimed that after taking a phone call from Cat Williams, she was on the receiving end of verbal AB and went on to say that it turned physical and she said that it resulted in her hitting the ground and becoming unconscious. But down here below, it says they argued that the plaintiff had created a false narrative of working for Cat Williams as his assistant and faked the incident. Therefore, the judge excluded it all. So that's amazing for Cat Williams. Let's keep going. Have you all seen this advertisement in your local Walmart? They have Nene Leaks in the middle as Poison Ivy. And somebody was like, I don't know if Nene would be happy about how she looks. This is not good. Like how? I don't think she'd be pleased with this. I think this is so crazy. And Martel and Arian and Tasha K should feel real crazy behind this. So this is Jason, Mel's security and who travels with her who martell found that cracker jack lawyer to draw up those papers to say that this is a man who's married and she was sleeping with he's with her now in la and she's getting ready for the reunion of love and marriage huntsville and also i feel like this picture was taken to show that he doesn't have a ring on his finger now i do know that men do take their rings off but for this situation, I don't think that's the case. And here he is with London in the house where they are all living, getting ready for the reunion. Jay Bolin and his assistant are there. Um, there's someone else there. Mel and um, Lauren and Jason are talking about going to the gym. So this this should make them look crazy, right? Because if Mel has something to hide... Why would she put this man out here on display as not being part of her team? Let's keep going. Y'all, this is so sweet. I cannot wait until we find out this baby's name and we see her sweet little face. Cardi B and her new baby girl. Like, this is so sweet. Look how little she is. I absolutely love that. I can't wait to find out what her name is and see her face. Charles Okisha Cole is out with her dude, honey, and getting gifts. You know what? I really don't care who Keisha Cole is going with if she has to be in a relationship. I just really want happiness for her. She's been through so much and she needs, I feel like she needs a lot of therapy, but if she's happy, I'm happy. Keisha's been through a lot. She looks really good here. And this was so sweet. Y'all, this is so sad about former TV, MTV VJ Ananda Lewis. She said that her cancer has spread after she decided to keep her tumor. She went against the doctor's recommendation for a mastectomy after her 2020 breast cancer diagnosis. She said she thought she had it. Y'all, she's 51 years old. And she has now stage three breast cancer. Y'all, she didn't get her mammograms for years due to fear of radiation exposure. Now look what has happened. This is crazy. You know, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, so get your boobies checked. She said at first her plan was to remove excessive toxins out of her body because she understands her body and it is intelligent. And who else understands your body are doctors who's gone to school for things that you don't know about. This is unfortunate, but I hope, I hope she gets better. Speaking of toxins, Safari wants to pay less child support and 
allegedly, according to Erica Mena, not spending any time with the kids. And he wants her to pay his legal fees. I'm so tired of men living off of women. I don't know what to do. Charles Safari said he's no longer making $61,000 a month. And he claims he has the kids three to four weeks at a time. And the income changed because he's not appearing as a full-time cast member on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. And his bookings have slowed down as a direct result of Erica's actions, calling him a deadbeat to her 6 million followers. Sir, that's a personal problem. In order to be called a deadbeat, you have to actually be a deadbeat. And you asking this girl for money proves the point. Let's keep going. Now, I really want to know what y'all think about this. Diddy has yet another lawsuit. A woman is claiming that he used a remote control on her after she accused him of being involved in Pac's unaliveness. Now, what do y'all think about that? I, I don't even know what to say behind that. Please put it in the comments. Then when I saw this, I knew Diddy had lost his mind. Diddy is asking the feds to reveal alleged victims' names because they refuse to give them up. He can't properly, properly, you know, prepare for his criminal case. Sir, that's why you in jail because they don't want you contacting people. Is Diddy crazy? Speaking of crazy... Now, we all have a love for Beyonce, some more than others. Shout out to my girl, Courtney. But Beyonce is dropping a candle in time for the holidays. And when I say crazy, hold on. This is certifiably insane. $131.40 for a candle? That will burn out and you will have to throw it in the trash? Like, is it, is it a never-ending candle? This is $120 before taxes. Child. Okay, who, who is buying the candle? That's what I want to know. Because somebody is buying it. It won't be me, but y'all let me know what it's like. Join us tonight for the Political Pulse. We have a new time change. It will be 8 o'clock Eastern. Um, I really hope y'all come because we're going to be talking about Vice President Harris's rollout for Black men and other things in her policies. So I really hope you join us for that. And one more thing. I know Millie Vanilli is... 38 hot because baby they don't do nothing but lip sync on tiktok <laughs> y'all have a good one bye